Hey guys, good morning. It is 11 a.m. The girls are having a snack. And I be doing auto. Yeah. We're having some... Oh, Maddie, it's still on the floor. Some yogurt and goldfish with some juice. Autumn's probably gonna go down for an early nap because she, careful, she woke up early this morning. Uh -huh. I have a load of laundry that needs to be folded. Don't know if it's gonna happen right now. I have a massive headache. Massive, like I woke up with a massive headache today. So I took some etc and I'm gonna try and rest and relax for a little while see if I can get it to go away so I can be a little bit more productive today because man it's really tough taking care of toddlers with a headache no, no, bending down no, and everything no, is just not ideal no, look the dogs left a bone see that yeah. <laughs> they left one of their raw hides right on top of my shoe thanks guys okay it's a little after two o'clock I I'm actually feeling a little bit better in the sense that I don't have a headache anymore, which is great because pretty much any other symptom I'm having, I uh, can deal with. But headaches, man, they just, they get me and they make me feel very, very crummy. So now that that's gone, like I said, I can kind of deal with everything else. I'm having waves of nausea, which again, I've kind of heard is part of like keto flu. I don't know. So... I'm just trying to stick it out as best I can. I don't, it's weird. I was telling Andres, I feel like if that's what it's from, I should have experienced it last week. And I didn't. Um, so I told him maybe it's more correlating towards like that time of the month type of thing, which I'm leaning a little bit more towards. That's what it is. Like my body is kind of rejecting this whole eating thing because my body's craving bad stuff because of my cycle I don't I don't really know who knows headaches gone that's all I really care about so we are headed downtown to drop off all of the <clears throat> excuse me bags that we need for the women's shelter we're dropping all that stuff off and then I'm going to swing by the bank go pick up Emmy and mainly the bank is just because I need cash, which for me I got it. I have to get cash for. We're ordering Girl Scout t-shirts, and I found this lady that does amazing work and for very inexpensive. I think she's charging us like eight dollars a shirt, and the troop is paying for the girls' Girl Scout shirts, which I think is going to be awesome for cookie time. Everyone's going to match, and they're hot pink. I'm so excited. And we did that so that when we're out as a group, like our next group outing will be horseback riding in February. When we're out as a group, we all look the same so we all can identify each other really quickly. I think it's really cool. Last time we went to Camp Lajita for a Girl Scout event, there was another troop that was in, I think they were in all green or something, but they looked really cool walking around in all green. So I found someone that would make us shirts and I need to go, it's a problem with never having cash, I need to, Go to the bank, get cash, go drop it off, pick up the check for the deposit for the shirts from the financial person, bookkeeper. I don't know what what they call them in Girl Scouts, but anyway, she keeps the books like for the troop. Go pick up a check from her and drop it off. Actually, I need to pick up Emmy first and then go, okay, so women's shelter, bank, Emmy, go drop off, pick up the check, drop off the cash, and then drop off the check to the lady that's doing the shirts so she can get them in production, which is super cool. And then, um, I need to go to the P.O. box. So maybe, I wish I had enough time actually to go to the P.O. box in between, but I don't have enough time. We were waiting for Autumn to wake up from a nap so that we could leave to go to the women's shelter. And the problem with the women's shelter is they close at four, like, that where you donate all the stuff, they close at four, so it really was like a hard, I couldn't, I wanted Emmy to be here with us, but I couldn't, they're not open on the weekends either, so it, it was just, I didn't want to pick her up early from school to make sure she was here to donate the stuff, so I just decided to do it now, but we were waiting for Autumn to wake up, and she slept a while, which is great, because then she doesn't wake up crabby. I told you she's a very 
she doesn't get enough sleep, she definitely lets you know. So I don't have enough time, that's okay. But once I get all that done, if I have enough time, I'm gonna go swing by the PO box, drop off all the mail and stuff I have, check my PO box, and then come home and start dinner and do my nightly routine. That's the plan so far. No, he's with Grandma. Hmm? Why, Mommy? Because he had to get some blood work. Oh. Well. Yeah. But then, I... In okay. the autumn, well, she's here. Well, well. Hello, Thank Mommy. you, hi. 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 That's a lot of stuff. Hi. Bye. 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 My camera battery died while, I think while I was, we were picking up Emmy and we didn't come home for a little while, <laughs> out running errands and I just didn't bother charging it in my portable charger. So, what did we do since the last time I filmed? We ended up not going to the bank because the traffic out that way was just ridiculous. So we came home from the women's shelter, picked up Emmy went home real quick which worked out great because Maddie had to go potty anyway so we came home I picked up my checkbook because I don't write checks really for any reason so I uh, I'm printing out stuff for and cutting stickers for Etsy but got my checkbook went to the financial person for the troop and wrote her the checks that I was supposed to write her and then she gave me the check for the t-shirts. I went to go drop that off. I finalized the t-shirt plans. So that's all done. Check, one thing off my list. The only thing I didn't get to do was go to the PO box, which is fine because I have um, several more orders that need to go out anyway. So I'm working on those right now. And if I have a chance, I'll drop them off tonight, but it's already 5.30, so the post office is closed. They won't go out till first thing tomorrow morning, so I may just wait until tomorrow morning. However, tomorrow's Friday, and I feel like I had something. Oh, no, I don't think I had anything to do. But if I'm out and about later, I probably won't be. But if I happen to leave the house, I will drop those off. I also need to buy stamps, so... I may just wait till tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. My goal is to sit here until dinner, probably 15, 20 more minutes, work a little bit, and then spend some time with the girls downstairs. And what else? I really would like to try and get through. There goes my printer. I really would like to try and get through the playroom. I have been wanting to do the playroom since... Uh, Sorry, takes a little bit of effort to do that. I've been wanting to do the playroom since New Year, no, right after Christmas, and I just never did. And really, it doesn't have that much to it. Like, I had already gone through all the coloring books and regular books and crayons. Sorry, I was just replenishing the ink. Um, the crayons and things like that. So I really just wanted to reorganize their toys just to kind of get it cleaned up because the playroom, like the area between, there's a hallway between the half bathroom where Autumn's changer is and the girls have like bulky toys sitting right there. So if I can get rid of some, that'd be great. That way 
that's all cleaned out. We're going to get our Christmas stuff put away this weekend, or at least that's the hope and plan. <laughs> so if that happens, we get everything put away. We can start working on reorganizing the garage. And once the weather gets a little bit better, Andres will put up the swing set outside, which will probably take him like a week on and off. And that way that can get out of the garage as well, because the garage is like a huge, mess right now it's just kind of like a catch-all in fact i listed some stuff on the app for free so i'm hoping somebody just like on the neighborhood app i'm hoping somebody just comes to pick it up because i'm really considering putting it out on the sidewalk as trash and i hate to do that because some of it's good stuff but it can't be donated anywhere like the coloring stuff the books Funny thing, actually, I asked at the woman's shelter because I called to make sure that we could drop that stuff off at that time. Some places have like finicky hours and stuff. And she said that the only things that they do not take are books and magazines, which I thought was kind of, uh, no, I totally understand because books can hold lice. Maybe that's why they wouldn't take things like that. But toys can too. So I don't know, maybe I, I'm, or bed bugs maybe because books can hold bed bugs but again i think toys can too i don't know why they wouldn't take boys boys <laughs> books or magazines um but i so i didn't bring them that stuff so like i said i'm hoping somebody just takes it from the neighborhood anyway i am blowing my 15 or 20 minutes before dinner I'm trying to get this etsy stuff done so i will check in with you guys when i'm done dinner tonight is zoodles with some pesto sauce and Homemade turkey meatballs, looks delicious. Okay, this is the before. We have a lot of unopened toys. Oh, not a lot, but a few un unopened toys. I have to figure out what to do with like outdoor stuff that has been too cold to do and beetles that I have to sit down and have patience for. <laughs> and like, look, I just cleaned this area out, and area out and it already looks like a hot mess. Have the girls pulled everything down, so we are going to take, I'm going to set a timer on my phone, and we are going to take 30 minutes, nope, 30, and you can't see that, 30 minutes, and we are going to see how much we can get done. Okay, probably took us more like an hour and a half, but once I got started, I just didn't stop. So we have um, some stuff over here that has not been opened yet, things that are like outside or that require more. Barbies were just opening slowly because they got so, like 10 Barbies for 
Christmas and their birthdays, which is crazy. So that we don't lose all the pieces and everything, we're slowly opening those. But fashion headbands and the Beatos take a little bit of patience, so I just haven't done those yet. Calico Critters, she got two. She already opened one. These are outdoor. This is outdoor. We haven't been outdoor at all yet. That's up here just, I don't know, it actually can go in Autumn's playpen. That's a bowling set. The two horsies, but this area <laughs> looks so much better. It was so cluttered here. Emmy's Hot Wheel toys reorganized this and their stuff here. I actually, you know what? I have Play-Doh stuff that could go up here that I could do instead of putting it in the drawer. But yeah, everything's organized. All the drawers, like all of these are empty. All the whole thing is empty. Um, that one's empty. That one's empty. That one has random toys in it. Empty. Barbies. You see how many Barbies I have open? Bags. So like back, little mini backpacks, purses, that kind of stuff. Barbies clothes. And then this is that Play-Doh stuff that could go up in that clear thing if I wanted to. So they really don't have a lot in here. I had already decluttered all their books. That's all their games. I wish I had a better system for that, but I don't. This is how we used to have the movies. Nin got them that for Christmas with a bunch of movies. So I switched it over. We decluttered some dolls. This is where like the big babies and um, stuffed animals live. We decluttered some dresses, even though it doesn't really look like it. Um, and the little drawers down there, they have like necklaces and stuff. And then up here, we have a bunch of play shoes. Uh, it was hard work. I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> um, a bunch of dress up shoes and stuff. And we decluttered the desk thing that was over here. All they have is the chalkboard and the whiteboard. Oh, that, this, Maddie, this can go. Oh, it's blocked. Yeah, this can go. Your horse can go in the big toy, big toy box, baby. Big toys. So that's where like all the building, hold on, I'll, I'll do it for you. So we have colors, which I want to find a better system. I kind of would like to put a shelf or something up here. So that way this is not in the reach of Autumn, mainly because Autumn does like playing with the abacus, but I don't like her walking around with colors and stuff. So this is what I, oh, okay, cool. This is what I've narrowed it down to. These are the like special markers, um, whiteboard markers, colored pencils, their new set of crayons, and then, yes, that has no pictures in it. That one doesn't either. <laughs> Autumn stroller. Uh-huh, I'll clean it later, baby. Um, Barbie's closet, Doc stuff in checkup area. The airplane, we organized the kitchen. Actually, Emmy. Well, and Maddie organized this, but well, yeah. pots and pans, dishes, yeah. wooden, um, food, food, Minnie's kitchen down there. This is stuff that eventually I want to go on the wall. I haven't decided whether I want to keep these displayed or have them opened. Oh, coloring stuff, we're back. And then under here is big toys as it's labeled. So it's like the blocks. This. The mini skate, the horse, and probably by this weekend, this stuff will get open, so all this will be yeah. off of here, and they can access it better. Yeah. <sighs> we donated three bags of toys, and, and we had a whole three. bag of trash. Can you believe it? Three. And this is all the stuff we found that needs to go upstairs. Yeah. Good. So, I think it's pretty good. Good job, guys. Thank you. Five. Maddie, high five. Wait. Hi. Hi, Mommy. Wait, I, I didn't <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Here's all the other toys we're getting rid of. Big toys that didn't fit in bags. Um, this, 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 this. Okay. Oh, that needs to go out in the garage. Yeah. But yeah. And that. Good job. That's all of it. Good job. Good night. See you in the morning. Good night. See you tomorrow. And daughter. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, so I'm taking. Well, no, I'm lying. I'm not taking a break. I just finished editing. I'm waiting for the vlog to export. And I'm on the Children's Place website, which, by the way, is on Ebates, if you didn't know that. I've never sh shopped at the Children's Place online. 
um, but it's on Ebates and I think it's um, one and a half percent cash back. But anyway, Melissa, my brother's girlfriend, gave me a bunch of children's place. I don't know if it's cash or what it is. It expires today, so if you didn't use it, you lost it already. However, <laughs> I don't shop here very frequently, but I am like dying at some of this stuff. How freaking cute. Some of this stuff literally makes me wish I were a little tween. Like, it's so cute. I got this dress for Emmy. So, like, look at this stuff. I really like their bathing suits, but Emmy's not awake. I wish I could ask her if she wants one. I got her these shoes. I think those are super cute. But anyway, because she sent me like $400 worth of cash or whatever it's called. Oh, look, I want some of these ears. <laughs> Aren't those so cute? Look at that jacket. Um, I'm placing an order for the girls, so I'm getting them each a few things for summer because we're already i hate when i don't have the camera turned around and i'm just like focused on the computer or whatever scrolling like that gets annoying for you guys i'm sure maybe that's more interesting than looking at me i don't know but whatever <laughs> uh, i'm shopping for summer because pretty much all of maddie's summer clothes by summertime are not going to fit her she may have some shorts that are okay because she's just gotten taller. She hasn't gotten bigger, so she's gotten significantly taller. Here, we start getting warm in like two months. Usually by spring break, it's warm. Not unbearably hot, but not chilly either. We may have a couple days of like windy, maybe like 70s, low 70s, high 60s, but it's hot pretty much every day. We'll have a few more cold days in January, a few more cold days in February. Sometimes even by like Super Bowl, it's already starting to get hot. So I'm done pretty much with winter clothes. I feel like whatever they have, we will make work for the next month, month and a half. And same thing with autumn. Whatever they have shirt wise, we can either throw on a shirt, like a short sleeve shirt over the long sleeve shirt. If the long sleeve shirt doesn't work that well, but they need the warmth. I'm just not really buying any more sweaters or anything. Now, for some of you guys, you'll probably stay cold until April, maybe even May. That's not the case here. We are warm most of the year. Some In April, it, March and April, it rains on and off. But again, it's not like cold rain. It's more like wear your rain boots type of rain, but you still can kind of wear whatever you want. Maybe wear a rain jacket but inside and everything it's it's hot again so i'm already thinking about their summer wardrobe and emmy to be honest at the end of last summer she has a lot of dresses from vacation and a lot of cute outfits from vacation the dresses probably will all still fit her i'm sure i am almost positive all of her shorts will still fit her I'll have to double check as we get closer to summer, but I am 100% sure none of her shirts fit her anymore. All of the school shirts that, all the back to school clothes that we got, short sleeve shirt wise, hardly any of them fit her. Same thing with her long sleeve shirts. A lot of those we had left over from last year when we bought, I bought a whole bunch of winter clothes on clearance. And I got them in a size 7, 8, and not all of them fit her anymore. So she's going to need not necessarily a whole new wardrobe for summer, but a pretty good selection of summer clothes. And then she's going to need new winter clothes next year. But I'll focus on that stuff when the time comes. Unless I can find really cheap winter clothes this year when they go on clearance, then I'll buy a bunch for next year. That's typically how I will do it. Um, but because I have these great coupons, I'm like, oh, I'm going to pick them up some summer stuff. So I'm not doing any pants, although those rose pants were really tempting, but I'm not doing any pants. I'm just doing tops and dresses because I feel like if they have a few good pairs of shorts, that's all they really need. You know, a few sets of leggings, maybe two or three pairs of shorts, a couple of pairs of jeans. Emmy has a ton of jeans that still fit her great, but the shirts 
is what makes everything and I want Emmy to have a jean jacket because the little girls have a jean jacket and Emmy wanted to wear this like dress or like that dress that I got her I want her to be able to wear it to school but if it's a tiny bit chilly she can wear the dress but I want her to have a cover-up so I'm getting her a jean jacket as well so I'm just kind of looking through stuff I'm also getting them new like those sliders um i got them each a pair of the unicorn sliders which i think are super cute and i'm just kind of seeing what else they have on here to see if i can get anything else because not only is it like the price that is on here it's 20 percent off of that which is a really great deal so i'm just going to continue to browse while i wait for my video to export Okay, I know some of you guys were interested in Zaycon. Now, the promo code that I gave you the other day, NEW25, is 25% off your entire order. Let's say you're new, you're placing your first order, and you just want chicken. This promo code is good Mar through March 29th, 2018. So you can create a whole new account if you want just to get the chicken for 99 cents a pound. This is 40 pounds of chicken for 39.60. That is insane. That is a crazy price. At HEB, the only thing that they have for 99 cents a pound is drumsticks. And this is boneless, skinless chicken breast. And it's very good. Super, it's not organic, but it's no hormones, no antibiotics, like no, it's natural. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not organic, but it is very good chicken. And I am going to get me another case. Hopefully I have room for all this meat. I ended up scratching two of the items that I originally was going to buy. I scratched the chicken. I think I had six things of meat in my cart. I scratched the chicken because I had already ordered a 40 pound case of it. And I also scratched the uh, chuck roast because I was like, I don't think we'll eat. I think it came with like eight or 10 chuck roasts. Um, and they're like eight pounds a piece or something, or four pounds a piece or something like that. I didn't think I was, we would eat that along with all that other meat before it went bad so I was like yeah I'll just get a couple chuck roasts at the grocery store so I ended up only paying like $295 for still like I got the bacon the pork sausage links the um, Italian sausage and the 40 pounds of ground extra lean ground beef and then I'm going to order this chicken $39.60 so on that date on $3.26 I will actually have 80 pounds of chicken insane in the membrane however i was looking at my um order history and i ordered i picked up the 40 pound case of chicken march 4th of last year and we ran out of it way early in the year like i don't know over the summer sometime and so i think 80 pounds will last us a whole year which would be great. So yeah, I mean, 39.60, you cannot beat that. I am done for the night. I am so tired. I was sitting at the computer for way too long. Way too long. But I got a lot of stuff done. Not only did I get my basic stuff done, like the vlog and things like that. I got all my Zaycon stuff ordered, which I had put in my cart when I was talking about it the other day. And I don't know about you guys who if you ever online shop. I don't, I know, I used to know my debit card. I'm like, what? I thought these are panties, they're Frankie shorts, the Build-A-Bear. <laughs> um, I used to know my debit card number by heart. That's how much I shopped with it and used it for online stuff. And it would be so convenient because Especially having a two-story house and at night on top of everything I try really hard not to go up and down the stairs because it's not even really about having a two-story house It's about having squeaky stairs. I um, Try because I'm a heavy person you can hear me Clunking myself up and down the stairs. So I try really hard not to go up and down them at night so I don't wake up the girls and So if I'm shopping I used to have my laptop 
downstairs and I would edit and I would buy stuff and then I could just run right there to my purse. Well, now that I do all my editing upstairs, usually while my vlog is exporting, I go and look through stuff that I need to buy or whatever. So I didn't have my debit or that Costco credit card that I was telling you guys about with me and I don't know the number because my card, my debit card had got compromised a long, long time ago and it switched to a new card and ever since, for whatever reason, I cannot memorize that number. Like I will say it over and over and over again and I cannot memorize it, I don't know why. I don't know why, it's, it's I was gonna say it's bad, but it's not, I mean, that's not a bad thing. Most people don't memorize their debit card information, but I can't get it, so. I couldn't buy the Zaycon stuff the other night and I just kept forgetting until today I was like, you know what, I had to go downstairs anyway because I was placing the children's place orders and the thing that stinks is I don't know on, you know how like Torrid's hook cash, you can, it there's one code and it increasingly gets larger and it's still half off but it's like if you spend 400 you get 200 off instead of like a bunch of little codes and Torrid's codes are universal or at least they used to be so I could use the same code and you could use the same code or m many codes I don't I don't know I just know people always share their codes with me for Torrid and everyone can kind of use them I guess with the children's place I don't I've never really shopped there I think I've bought maybe a, a thing here or there um, but I don't really shop there frequently and so like I said earlier Melissa gave me all that cash or whatever it's called place cash I think is what it's called or something but it's for every $20 you spend you get $10 off it wouldn't let me add more than six to one order so I had to split it up in three transactions which was fine because it was free shipping for all three of them anyway so I had no problem doing that but it took me a while to do it and you can pay with PayPal but I don't have for whatever reason my debit card linked to PayPal PayPal is linked to your bank account and I've never added a credit or debit card to it because my Etsy money goes in there so or some of it goes in there like if you buy from my Etsy account through PayPal it pays to my PayPal so I just always leave it there and when I do random shopping here and there from places that take PayPal online I probably should get a PayPal like debit card can't you get one of those I don't know I need to look into that I know there are some places you can pay with PayPal like you can type in your information I can't remember where though maybe Office Depot there's one other place where you can actually type in your PayPal account and it'll take it from your PayPal but I think there's a PayPal debit card of some sort I think couponing with Tony talks about it. But anyway, that's beside the point. That would be awesome because I could coupon with that money. Because to me, my PayPal account just kind of builds up. Like I, Not that I forget, forget about it, but it just it kind of stays there for a little while until I'm like, oh, I've built up a certain amount and I, I can transfer it to my bank account. But if it's a little bit at a time, half the time I don't even notice what's in there and I just end up buying something through PayPal and I'm like hey cool it's like found money kind of I don't know so you can pay for the children's place with PayPal but it was going to come from my PayPal balance and then from my bank account not from my debit card and I wanted to come from my debit card because I get cash back on my debit card like a certain amount a certain cent per swipe or something so I was like hey I might as well triple up not only did I order from retail me not and got the percentage back which if you aren't a part of retail me not you need to be a part of retail me not I've been a part of that website for years and years and years and years it there's like no reason not to be it literally you go to not retail me not ebates oh my gosh I am an idiot. Ebates. Ebates had one and a half percent cash back on the children's place, four percent cash back on Torrid in case you're going to use your Hope Cash. But I have used that website for so many years. You can sign up down below if you want. It, again, it's an affiliate link if you don't want to. Totally cool. But if you've never heard about it and you do online shopping, you have got to sign up. You literally go to ebates.com 
type in the children's place click on the shop now button and it takes you to the children's place through ebates and it pays you cash back so i got an additional like three or four dollars on the stuff that i got today not only did i get half off of it i bought a ton of clearance stuff and i got the three to four dollars extra back on ebates and they pay you quarterly it's just like nothing no different than like ibotta if you do ibotta which i also have a link for if you're interested i do all those things because why not i'm so into couponing now especially i have always been uh i don't want to say frugal but a deal hunter always always even though i do like to spend money if i have it and i like to shop i have always been a deal hunter and those are just little ways to save money if you're going to buy this stuff anyway you might as well get extra out of it right like sephora sometimes is eight percent cash back which is insane some of the websites i don't shop at but they have crazy amounts of cash back 20 25 percent 30 percent they have deals throughout the year that they have um double cash back from certain places so anyway if you're interested in the children's place it's on there as well so all those links are always down below and again i am upfront and honest with you guys i don't i have no idea what i get for any of them because i don't pay that close attention to it but what i list below are affiliate links and if you don't want to help a sister out i'm totally cool with that i totally get it but i know i appreciate it when people mention things that give you money back or good deals or whatever and i always go sign up for everything i have like an account for everything because why not right so anyway i got a lot of that stuff done i ordered emmy's yearbook way in advance so i got a discount on that which was awesome i also put her digital image for her fall pictures in my cart so when she takes spring pictures i can order those together I got a lot accomplished today. I also ordered this super cute sign. I've been wanting a sign. I don't know where I'm going to put it. My house is definitely not like farmhouse chic or whatever the trend is. And I am, no offense, don't shoot me. If you love all things farmhouse, that's not really my style. I like bits and pieces of it, I do. But like the whole house farmhouse style, is it's not for me. It just, I'm more modern chic I guess I don't know I don't know what it's called but you've seen the things in my house I like just basic things but I have seen something in that farmhouse style that I really like which is a name sign that has like your first names and your last name and established or like family established like so ours would say the Mendoza family established in 2011 or whatever things like that I think those are super cute so I found this lady on Facebook marketplace and I just happened to be looking through my local San Antonio Facebook market page and she was on there and I was like hey that looks really cool she was selling it for $12 so we'll see what it comes out with or how it comes out for 12 bucks I don't know I probably could have made it myself to be honest on a silhouette but I'm just not that crafty $12 was not that much to get it and I think it's like six inches by two feet or something so again we'll see what kind of quality it is I would really like to put it above our front door I have a cross right now up there that has uh, I haven't seen it up close in a while because it's been on the roof uh, on the roof on the door frame for a long time but it has some some Bible verse on it and I think I don't know where I'm going to move that to I kind of like I think it says something about like bless this home and then a bible verse and I really liked the idea of it being over our front door but I'm thinking we don't even come in our front door we come in our garage door so maybe I can move it <laughs> I don't know I, ha I haven't decided where I want to put it but I kind of want to put our sign above the front door so we'll see anyway i'm going to bed it's almost midnight and i have stuff to do tomorrow so hopefully you guys enjoyed today and we will see you tomorrow bye